Right now, you, the viewer, I want you to take a goal that you have, a dream of yours, something, no matter how big or small, just uh, you know, think about it, visualize it. What is that goal? And what are the things that it takes to achieve said goal? Now, what are you doing to get to said goal? And better yet, what have you done to get to said goal? To keep it as short and as blunt as possible, if you aren't doing every single day what it takes to get to this goal that you really so care about, you obviously you care about it a lot because it's the first thing that came to your mind when I mentioned thinking about a goal, uh, tighten up. Please, for the love of God, tighten up. If you're working towards something, make sure that you're getting at least one baby step closer to said goal every single day, no matter what it is. Because when you procrastinate or you wait for this spark of motivation to come towards you, the only, you're only hurting yourself. You're not going to get what you want at the end of the day. And you could you could dream and believe about it, you know, like whatever whatever you think is going to work. If you're not putting the work in, if you're not putting those hours in and really getting after what you really want, it's never going to come to you. Shit's just not going to fall in your fucking lap. You know, matter of fact, I will give you a little insight on my life and why I'm randomly deciding to make this video in my mother's office. So if you're a follower of the channel, uh, hey, welcome back. Um, I'm not at my house right now because of uh, things that have happened and they're not my fault. But they are my fault. Here's why. So there are multiple gaps and holes and open spaces within my house. Uh, you know, parts of the door frame, parts of, you know, some of the floorboards, things of that nature. And with that being said, uh, a lot of y'all know that this has been like one of the coldest winters, you know, in a few years. So a few days ago, after a long day of work, I came home to a house of roughly... 44 degrees or so on top of that a uh, glaring issue that you know wasn't that much fun to deal with uh, I never heard of the whole dripping water thing like the whole this whole owning a home in the cold is like kind of new to me and stuff so I didn't know you're supposed to like drip water when like stuff gets cold because you know like water can freeze in the pipes and all that so uh, that happened and I didn't have water and when it came down to me just not having water and not really having heat in my home, I ended up going, you know, staying at my mother's place for a little bit, you know, since it was it was Christmas time anyway. So you thought so I thought, you know, like might as well, you know, spend time with my family. I guess this all sort of works out. My pipes burst while I'm not at home. Uh I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I'm just really annoyed still because this happened to a lot of people and it's hard to get a plumber right now. But uh, according to my neighbors, you know, water was shooting everywhere uh, outside of my house. You know, luckily nothing was damaged in my home, which, you know, I can ultimately be grateful for. But I... I don't have water now. Uh, my, my neighbor, my neighbor shut it off. Uh, you know, can't really cut it on. You know, because the pipe's broke. <laughs> so you know, like I don't, I don't have water, and I don't really have heat in my home right now. And uh, you know, if you saw, you know, like the last few videos I did, you know that uh, I got into that wreck. Uh, so I missed a lot of work because of that wreck. Ended up getting the virus uh, in the midst of me recovering from that wreck. So I missed another roughly two weeks of work because of that. And uh, there's a reason I'm saying all this. There's a reason. I have owned my house since the end of March. And I've been working for quite a few years. You can tell me there's nothing that I could have done smarter financially or more proactively to, you know, have my house in a better condition to be able to handle a cold winter, even though, you know, like, I didn't know that was going to happen. But there's a lot of things that you don't know are going to happen. But you need to be prepared for said thing. 
I can sit here and blame people or I can just blame nature. I can just blame Jesus Christ himself, but that's not going to you know, solve my problem. My house is still going to be cold and I'm still not going to have water. If you're trying to make more money in your life, you're really trying to like make a change and you know, like turn things around for yourself, bro, do that shit today. Don't New Year's resolution it. Don't say, you know, like, oh, tomorrow I'm going to do this. You know, do that shit right now, my nigga. Do that shit right now because you never know. You're just going to lose the opportunity to do said shit. There's so much shit that I, like I wish I could like I wish I could have been doing you know when I was like laid up with the the Roni Montana or laid up you know because my my back was barely mobile after my accident and I like I had months before getting the virus and getting in fucking accident to do all that stuff and you do too if you were like fully capable of doing the shit that you want to do and really you know progress yourself forward my nigga just do that shit bro. Before you just end up back at your fucking mom's house. You know, all the time, you know, I get to hear, oh, you know, you're you're doing so great for yourself. You you own a house in your early 20s, not, you know, like, only so many people get to do that. Like, bro, I don't care, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Like, I, I did not go through all the things that I went through. And my mother and my entire family didn't go out through all the shit that they went through to get me in the position to be held to the same standards of normal niggas. I don't want to be a normal nigga. They don't want me to be a normal nigga. And I know my mom is going to say that she loves me and that she's proud of me and then like all that shit, you know, like at the end of the day. But I know me, me personally, if I were her, I'll be mad if I invested a lot of shit into my kid just for him to fucking drop out of school and come, come to my door crying and shit whenever something went wrong when he was on his own. If you want to continue living check to check and if you want to continue not knowing what to do, you know, whenever an emergency pops up or, you know, not being able to proactively handle things when things go disarray, then continue doing what you're doing. It fine. If that's the life that you want to live, it's no skin off my back. Do whatever you want. Me personally, I am tired of this shit. I'm like, dog. It is so ass. I, I hate living in the hood. I hate not having water. I hate not having heat. I hate not being where I know where I could have been. Like I'm so capable, and you are too. Like you're the shit. You know that? Like you were. You were so awesome, and you were so you were so capable of doing like whatever the fuck that you like ever so desire. I feel like all of us are. My nigga, you got to put the hours in. You got to put the work in. Had I been putting all the hours and all the work in that I should have been and not wasting it on, you know, whatever the fuck I was doing. It, like, who knows how things could be for me right now? They wouldn't be stuck up under a blanket in my fucking mom's house. I, I know I wouldn't be in this fucking position. Take care of your shit. <laughs> that's, that's, that's all I can really say. Just take care of your shit and get after what you want. Because you never know when the opportunity is going to be taken away from you. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to go do that. I'm something. I don't I don't know. I guess I'm going to try to patch up some of the holes in my house so I can maybe get my house to like 65 degrees and uh, we'll just go from there. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Love y'all.